Hey guys, it's Marianne from Thrive with your top tip. And I'm talking about forms and I'm looking at making your forms more personal without adding workload for you. Now, this is done really, really easily if you use the branching function or conditional logic, you might know it as as well. What this does is it allows you to tailor the experience for the for the person filling in the form, your respondent. So they don't get all of the questions, they only see the ones that are relevant to them. It's a bit like choose your own adventure and it allows you to put things that might either make a very cumbersome big form for somebody into something much smaller or to stop you from having to have six or seven different links because of the different options you have, you can condense it down into one form, which means one link, which means one central place for all of the responses to come to. But what it does is it means that your uh, respondents or your audience or whoever's filling in that form gets a very customized experience based on the answers they give along the way. And branching doesn't just have to happen once, it can happen several times. You can make this as detailed or as simple as you like. My tip is to start with something really simple. So something like if someone chooses a yes or no answer, if they choose yes, they get a certain finish screen or a thank you or a chance to do something else. And if they get no, they get a different thank you or response. It's really, really simple. And it just means that you don't have to create things over and over again make it once, use it many times. One of my favorite mantras. Jump in and have a look. You'll find conditional branching or branching under each question, and you can specify where they go to depending on the answers they choose. Lots of fun. Get into 